Dear friends, in this video, we will see the problem of breast cancer and the risks for it. One in eight women in our world gets breast cancer in her life. So it is important to know about the factors that can affect the, the women could prevent these and lead a healthy life with the right foods. Then the chances of getting is less. Even if she gets it, it should be found out earlier so that the treatment is possible and the cancer is not spreading all over the body. So here we see the different risks so that every woman can see that in her life what are the things she has to be careful. The risks that include as first being a woman. That's the first risk. Then comes the age of the women. Ethnicity, race plays also a role. Overweight, obesity are also race. Then coming to the other points, it is very important to know that when is the first period started? If it is if it starts before 12 years old, the problem of getting the breast cancer is there. And sec second important factor is the period, first period of the year and the first pregnancy. If the time interval between these two are very long, then also the chances are there to get the breast cancer. Breast bead feeding prevents breast cancer. But the thing is, the mother has to breastfeed her child for more than one year. This is happening in the developing world. But in the developed world, many women breastfeed only for four months or even many don't breastfeed at all. Then comes the age of menopause. If the menopause starts above 55 years of age, that is also a risk factor. Hormone therapy, hormone uh, replacement therapy during the menopause and after the menopause is also a risk factor. At the same time, oral contraceptive with car hormones are also a risk factor. Then oral contraceptives and at the same time smoking, that is very bad. Alcohol is a risk factor. It's not only smoking, the passive smoking is worse than normal smoking. Moreover, all the uses of nicotine in different forms are also risk factors. Then comes the radiation. Radiation is a risk factor. Then if we want to take sun bath, if you use our sunscreens, some chemicals from the sunscreens, they are also risk factors. Yeah, then all the chemicals that are used, they are risk factors. Chemicals you can say from our processed food, our artificial foods. You must know that more than 5000 chemicals are used in our food industry, then most of them are not good for our health. They are, risk, they are risk factors. And the pesticides and other agricultural chemicals used in the agriculture, 
as well as in the livestock they are also dangerous then the medicines used for the animals where we get our meat or milk or whatever it may be antibiotics and other medicines they are giving that's also a risk factor apart from that we must know that there are many other factors also which give us the problem that is mainly hereditary that means the problems of the genes that is the so called epigenetics according to the studies of the epigenetics the risk may be 10 to 15% more because of the genes or if very close relatives if they have had breast cancer then the risk is also there then the chemicals from the chemical industry chemicals from the packages and if you eat fish and other fishes or other things from the sea they have they have not only many chemicals including these pcbs but also they have got mercury and other poisonous metals so if you consider all these things it seems that the risks are everywhere that's correct but at the same time we can avoid most of this by eating fresh vegetables fresh fruits that will be very helpful maintain one's weight that's very important at the same time for that go to the gym or do the physical exercises regularly that helps you also a lot apart from that it is better to go every year to the mammography it's a method where with the help of the x-ray the breast cancer could be diagnosed here only one small problem is the women who have got dense breasts it's very difficult to find out even with the mammography but the daily the important is to find out these problems you can use daily with very simple method at both the side of the breast you can use use your fingers press the breast so see that where you can see any lumps or any other thickness for that you can keep on hand behind your neck so that the breast were drawn out of the each other and then with the fingers of the other hand then you can press the breast between your bra line and the collar bone through the breast then if there are any problems then you have to go to the doctor immediately then he must found out whether it is good or bad or what treatment should be done normally if there is no problem for the breast the skin must be very clean and smooth that's also an indicator that everything is healthy so with all the problems that could come we can minimize the problems that means the women they can minimize the problems so that in that context avoid also excess fats for for example saturated fats that also you can minimize everything normal everything healthy everything in a very active way then it is the nice thing to reduce the risk then the life without breast cancer is really a very good one so everybody must do that that is very very important thank you